Hey y'all, it is the Wicked Witch from the Midwest, and I am back again stealing the Crypt Monkey channel. And today we are going to be painting Cthulhu from. Don't want to say the wrong name. Lord of the Prince. Lord of the Prince. See, I was about to say the wrong name. <laughs> um, and he is snazzy, and today we have him in a red resin, which I am very excited for. Um, he's pretty cool if you 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 wanna <laughs> he's pretty cool looking he does he does have a little bit of a leakage happening because like if you look in there you can see like it's getting stuck on the supports so it's got a little bit of a leak so he's gonna live on a napkin today but i mean this is just gonna be so much fun to paint i'm just very excited to paint this guy i do have a couple of colors out already so i have like a basic idea of the colors I'm going to be doing. Oh, you want me to... There you go. There we go. No. There we go. That's a lot better. I was worried I'd have to paint like out here or something. <laughs> All right. So I think this is going to be our base color for the back. Let me back so I think I'm going to do a greenish tone for the bottom of him where it's coming out of the water. And then I'm going to bring it up into a black for like the head and such. So I'm going to do a lot of wet blending up into him. But I'm going to start with the base because I want to start with the base. Uh, that's the only reasoning I have. So I'm going to do the base in this green and then... I'm going to do this blue on top of it. Uh, Chef Tig, sorry, Chef Tig said, Hi friends, your local paint and take guy just sending some love. Hello! Hello. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the screen. Got a very different setup from what I usually have today. So it's going to be fun getting used to it. <laughs> like a really cool wave happening right here. And Sir just realized we started streaming, and now he's like, mm, uh, fix this. <laughs> All you guys see is my hand. Yeah, this setup's probably going to take me a little while to get used to. No, that's not a wave crash. That is, though. Forgot to not touch the bottom. <laughs> Very glad I started with the base because it would have been impossible to coat the base without touching him with the paint. <laughs> Let's 
Got a little support hiding in there. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but if it makes you feel any better, I can't see it either. Uh, yes, I would love that. Um, mom said she could bring me a Reaper base to glue it on. Um, and I would absolutely love that because I have resin on my hands. <laughs> Did you have paper towels? Yes, but I could use another one. Don't mind me just wiping my hands. <laughs> and back to it. Almost finished this coat. And Sir is not happy about that, apparently. <laughs> Don't know if y'all can hear him, but he's like, hmm, in the background. <laughs> So at the moment I can't find one big enough. One big enough, but you can glue this around because it should be yeah, on the bottom up. to float the hole. That was my intention was to make a base to fix that. Well, I guess now is a perfect time to say it. Just a dot, not a lot. Did you glue it yet? No. I'm putting the glue on if that's... No. No? No. Good idea, though. I just don't like that with like the theme I'm going with. You're doing none of that on camera, just that. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the, uh... I know. I've done it a few times, and I'm getting a little bit more used to it. So I got to put the glue on there, I guess, because it did not work. Sometimes you need more than a dot, but still not a lot. <laughs> I don't know if the speed stuff will really work <laughs> with the wood. Because it soaks in. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably what's happening. And the alternative is that I just have it sit like that the entire time. <laughs> Oh, it's on there now. Oh, it's just pain.
Do you like the color I'm doing for the water? It's green. Because I know how much you like green water. Remember where your camera is. It takes some adjustment to us does. to get used to where it is and how you're painting. But it is definitely a better view. Hi, buddy. I know. There you go. So you are, like, where you've got it right now is kind of the best area for you to hold it to paint. It's just so far. It is, but it looks really good. My favorite spot to paint is um, right where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, way too close. So focused. You guys can kind of see that. If you tilt back up, it'll be a little bit. What is that? You see that, Mom? I can't tell from there. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to be on there, but it's too thick to be a support. Sometimes it just takes putting a little bit of paint on something to figure out what it is. I think we're done with that. So I like watching the first cloud of the paint. Oh, yeah. Because it's always, like, super bubbly. It's so much fun. Now we're going to move on to the rocks. Yeah, but I'm at the moment just telling them when they're out of focus. I'm, I'm trying to help Cora get the feel for the new paint. That, when we were getting set up today, I was like, so is it going in front of me today? And he was like, I mean, you can, um, but you can also do it back to the way you uh, usually do. I'm like, no, I might as well just get used to this one. Now I'm regretting it. <laughs> well, I think it's, like I said, I really think it's a better view for them to see mm -hmm. more closely what we're doing. So, Cora, if you pause here and look, you see how if you tilt that camera up, they can see better. Dad told me to point it down. Right, but you can adjust during the stream as you're working on different things. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Too close. It's out there. Yeah, I was, I was trying to see. I missed a wave right here. Mm -hmm. Not the shots we do. The problem with painting him is he's so spiky. Yeah, and, and he breaks, is... It hurts. See, now you went back down low again. I'd say probably the worst part is the crannies. <laughs> it's, it's easy enough to paint without seeing it, but then you guys can't see it. Well, <sighs> so he actually... When we're print, when I'm printing him, I have the option to print him separate from his base. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but there's a lot of times, especially when we're streaming, I prefer to keep us out of the realm of having to assemble anything. Yeah, like I definitely wouldn't have wanted to have to assemble him. Yeah, that does look like supports on the top, right? There are clippers right there. Sometimes the supports bundle up in the print. 
they're too close together so they make a solid line rather mm. than being you know a, a singular support they end up being a wall of support which is not awesome yeah but not too bad it's not bad when you're on something like that rock but if you're on something that's really fine uh like the the model the other model that you're working on for death for lord of the print mm. that one the book that is on the back of the seat saddle is what i was looking for is really really fit fidgety and difficult as you know because i broke your book like, you broke it off. I still have the book. Yeah. Which is nice, but, you know. Yeah, this model, you could, we can do it with or without wings, which, why would you do it without wings? But I can see why. But I definitely wouldn't do it in this resin without the wings. Yeah. Excuse me. Probably the only reason I would do it without wings is because it's just so much extra in the way for the stream. It is, but, but it just makes it cooler for the stream. So yeah, I mean, realistically, the reason that he was hollowed out and left the way he was was my intention was to put a an LED light inside of him and leave mm. like gaps in his chest where he'd be glowing red. Right. But. As we all know, last night I painted the dra or the forest dragon instead of doing Cthulhu, so it's fine. What color are you using for the rocks? Uh, I am using the carbon gray, and I know that because of that. <laughs> That, of, that's one side. Some There's of the, the name. That we use we use them so often. I think bottles become so distracted or destroyed that we know what the paint is based on the bottle, but you can't read the name anymore at all. Yeah, I know which one is the pure black because of the way the paint is on top of the lid. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, I can't find that one today. I was I was mainly asking because I was curious if you brought out some of your new paints. You forgot, I forgot them. Oh my God. <laughs> Father, fetch. <laughs> you're, you're standing. Go get them. <laughs> they are on the table in their room. It's they're very clearly just sitting. Very like large boxes. I don't. I haven't shown off my Christmas presents yet. You haven't actually had a chance to really sit down and paint yet, either. Yeah. They're not It's not that heavy. That heavy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like 40, 50 paints, but it's not that heavy. One box has 61. No, it doesn't. It's like 36. 61 pieces. Yeah, it's yeah, 61 got pieces of other stuff in it. How are we going to do? How are we going to get all that? Am I supposed to take it back now? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use them. Okay. I got okay. some army paints. I believe, yeah, I have one shiny, one wash, and then the rest are uh, layers. Stay. And then I have a very large acrylic set. Move this stuff out of the way. Oh, I forgot my new paint brushes too. It came with paint brushes. Uh, quite a few of them are actually good enough size for minis. And then that's layer one. I believe there's only two layers. Yeah, there's two layers. I say only two, like there isn't like 20 on each layer. But now you have... Now I have oranges. <laughs> and vermilion. I think it's like an orangish red. I think. That's what it looks like. And then I have... Burnt Sienna and Burnt Ooh, a 
with silver. It means I have shinies in here too. Titanium white. I'm just naming the colors that Bob Ross uses. <laughs> that Bob Ross almost exclusively used oil paints. These are acrylics. Yes, but they have the same name. Because I absolutely would never paint a miniature with oil paints. I barely like doing it with watercolor. <laughs> Although it comes out with a great effect, it never fully dries, so you have to spray clear coat it, like, in between each layer. So it does technically dry, it's just because it's watercolor color or... Because it's water-based, well, yeah. It, because acrylic is also water-based, but yeah. because it's watercolor pigments, it will come back to life as soon as you touch it with anything wet. So you will always be able to wet blend. <laughs> it's like trying to subtly tell her to switch it to the screen back. I lost the button. Main. Nope, that's main reader. Nope. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Now I'm just going to hit every button until it comes. Main. I told you it was main. <laughs> you know, it's got the word main. So. Oh, goodness. Buttons of me. I... That's my solution to everything, is push a button and see what happens. So I literally was just clicking every button I could hit. See? There you go, Sawdust. It you guys just got a button. tour. <laughs> tour of every single button we have. <laughs> no, I didn't hit them all. I can hit more buttons. <laughs> Sawdust was streaming today, and I was getting dizzy. And my stomach was flipping. It he, was fun. He was flying in a flight simulator. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah, I think that's probably the worst thing about being on night shift now, is I miss all of the streams. It's like, I I have Wednesdays and Thursdays off. Those I specifically chose those days off. Um, so I'm able to get up a bit earlier in order to continue streaming. But it's... Uh, Sucks that I miss whenever y'all always, whenever uh, other people uh, stream. It's like I can hit some of them whenever they have like evening streams, but the other ones are really hard to get to. Ducky didn't go for Gareth. Oh. There. Well. Uh, you jumped. I did jump. I get myself all the time. And it's sawdust, it's not necessarily that you were going that fast. It's just that whenever we were like leaning with you as you were flying, and so occasionally, gave himself like, motion when you sickness. Would crash, it was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's very true, Gareth. Cora, you'll be able to watch Gareth's stream. I can. I'm going to pester you all night. <laughs> That layer is done. I need to touch up that one spot. Let's see if I can find it again. Oh, well, that's a spot I didn't see. On the side. On the side closest to you. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I see it. There it is. It's like I purposely All didn't hit it with the gray. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little jealous that Cora's painting this model because I was very much looking forward to painting it. You could have printed the model that I wanted to paint. I literally have no time to print anything, so this is what was done and ready to go. I, I was talking to mom like uh, yesterday or the day before, and I was like, all right, this is the mini I want to paint. And she's like, can't do that for you, but I printed this. <laughs> Like, this is done and ready, and you can do it. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to do the rock details, then I'm going to do the second layer on the water. Because the water is not staying this shade of green. <laughs> yeah. But it does look kind of cool. But it's very close to the shade of green that he's going to be, so. It's not a quitter talk, Gareth. It's I need more printers. <laughs> <laughs> actually i wasn't really a fan of this color for this anyway so let's see if i have a fancy smancy new paint i can use can't that. believe you're not getting out the the warhammer paint 
The army painter? Yeah, army painter. Uh, I checked the thing. There's no gray in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have a picture of all the ones on there, so. Gotcha. They quietly dig through paint. Ooh, lamp so, black. I bet that's pretty. Another tray? Sure. Not gonna say no. Creature, that is uh, an extremely accurate um, pearl, copper, gold comparison. Uh, yes. If, if I have skin available, there is room for tattoos. And if I have space on the counter or just get a new counter, there is space to have a new printer. Almost got it. I don't need to sit here. I just need my paints to be here. <laughs> huh. Oh. Well, I have a silver. Cartoon Network. Oh, Gareth, uh, Ty is explaining your Metaloc bullet. Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse. Ah, I did it. On second try, I did it. That's, That's impressive. <laughs> Uh, he was explaining the joke because I didn't get that. Yeah, shiny. Interesting. I have a, a Payne's gray, which is actually a green. Like See, now what I'm thinking about is those rock band pieces that I just got from Dragon Trappers. Yeah. This one? Where, where I, I put a picture of them in Discord already because I was so, so excited. Exactly. So if our... Read it. I'm, re I'm reading it. Gareth says that it's like collecting STLs and for me now, I, ha I don't have a problem and now my pile of shame is mostly digital, which means... <laughs> and it's exa I'm the exact same way. It's like we can just fill up, you know... Um, external drives full and we're good and and it, the shelf of shame is 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 a non-existent thing anymore it didn't come with any grays you didn't get me any grays apparently Dude, i can take them all back it's fine i you will have to fight me for those uh wolf gray or i'll take them they all look great to me <laughs> look how pretty <laughs> pearl <laughs> copper pearl <laughs> coughing sorry Gary says, I'll talk like the band members on stream tonight to help sell the point. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll be listening. <laughs> I can't help. Oh, it was like stuck on there. Yeah, that makes sense. I forgot to shake it. Soda says, oh yes, I definitely have a bunch of STLs. In the, I'll get to that category. I, I really do, and honestly, being able to sell the prints makes it to where I can justify having as many as I have. If that makes sense. <laughs> I want to use that one. Big Joe says, "That's so metal." <laughs> Alright, I have to go find that scale. I really don't know what the heck I did with it. I'm gonna use this guy. Look how huge he is. You can tell it's an acrylic because of how long the... Sorry, an acrylic um, brush considering how long the... Um, thing is because if you look at a miniature brush it's like so much smaller but that's on purpose because the skin the thinner and uh, shorter it is the easier it is to get into those sections and the easier it is to control ow sorry he's pokey ooh chat's going crazy uh Sada said perfect since I print things for my own purposes and then Gareth said I do a good Nathan explosion and murder face my squids are and Tuki are good and 
pickless is okay. Pickles? I don't know. It's far away. It's hard for me to read. Uh, and then you said brutal. <laughs> like, it's just far enough away for it to be, like, hard to see. I really like that line. Let's see. Oh, it's not an autofocus. You guys can't really see it very well, but it, it looks good. You're just going to have to trust me on that. <sighs> Pivot. Uh, I haven't read the last one. Uh, Zada said, get a small projector, put a pop out chat on the far wall. Real big. Um, dad is exactly opposite of me. And then there's shelvings right there and shelvings right there. And then, you know, behind me as a very much an option. Maybe he just needs to blind me, put it in my face. <laughs> just always wear a plain shirt so we can just put it on your, on, on your shirt right there. I think the only way we can make it better is if I was wearing a GoPro. And that way you guys could see, like, exactly from my perspective what I'm doing. Ew. <laughs> well, they don't get my dizziness. They just get the <laughs> one of you. Don't. <laughs> 45 minutes in, we're quick today. Oh, jeez, I haven't even finished the base yet. <laughs> Maybe you should do that. <laughs> Here you go. Any shades of gray you want it to be? Uh, This is my last shade of gray. Actually, no, I have like three marker shades of gray to do. Pink anyway. It's already red, so you're halfway there. <laughs> shade of red gray. <laughs> Be working on boring stuff pretty soon, so hopefully the tippity tappity doesn't bother everybody. Uh, it'll bother me. But <laughs> it says speed painting and go. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of what we're doing every week. Because three hours is not very much time for a paint. Especially with the sizes that we're working on. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, obviously, it's not like full speed paint, but well, it's saying, still like, pretty fast. Like Michael will do one in an hour. I don't think he ever streams longer than an hour. Yeah, but Michael's like Michael Mordor. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Like, not everyone can be a Bob Ross in miniature painting. So, Gareth, I guess you're streaming at 9.30 tonight. How long do you stream Wednesdays? Oh, my God, there's a shark there. There's a shark. Do you guys see that? That's a shark. Obviously, it's, like, a full-on dead, but... I didn't see that. I don't know if mom saw that. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Mom, did you know that was there? I'm not sure mom's listening. She's trying to find our old scale. Oh, she did just do an emoji. Oh. An hour. Yeah, see? 
Okay. Earth only paints an hour too. Okay, well, good for you two then, I guess. <laughs> I've only been doing this for six years, guys. Has it been that long for you? Uh, yeah, it's uh six years come Daikon, I think. It's Daikon, I think. And Daikon already passed, so yeah, it's been about six years. Which means it's been about seven for uh mom. <laughs> Part 14. I think uh, Cthulhu wanted a little snack. <laughs> Coming up. Gare says, if I could only get to, like, half of Michael's speed, I'd be happy. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now, I could do it that fast, but nobody's going to be happy. See, she's listening. I think she might be coming out to see the shark. Did you know there was a shark on the base? Uh huh. It's so freaking cool! I oh, am. Yeah. But now I have to use no more paints. That's the point of painting minis. We use paint. <laughs> That's what we do. We're 45 minutes in and I haven't even finished the base yet. I'm doing wet blending for the rest of the body. Uh, oh, do you know how to fix that? Go faster. <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously you weren't listening. I was. <laughs> I was searching so I, I can't have my headphones on. So I was like, because I'm moving around too much. My wireless are dead. Okay, so Gareth says, painting side by side with him is stressful. Uh, well, you've made a lot of amazing progress in those six years. I really have. There was, like, um, a large gap of time where I didn't really, like, paint a lot. Um, I don't remember why, but I just didn't. Um, I can tell you why. Why? Because there was a large gap of time where I stopped painting, which meant everybody just stopped painting in this house. It was so weird. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> painting. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I, it, the desk was just sitting and, and empty and no one touched it. I'm like... It just, I'm, it's empty. Go paint, go paint. And nobody did. But as soon as I picked up a brush, just like Dorky and I were talking about last night, it's like as soon as you're doing something, your kid wants to do it too. <laughs> um, but once I came back from that large scrap of time where I didn't paint, I was just like 10 times better from doing nothing. It was very strange. We watched and learned a lot while you were not painting. We were watching a lot of people paint, too. Well, that's true. This is not the right color for a shark, but... Well, I they wouldn't be able to tell that it. anyway. <laughs> okay, well, I'm working on it. I know, my love, but that's my gentle way of reminding you. Watch it. <laughs> love, the Oh. Sorry. Yep, he does it every time. You know you can mute the tab, right? Before uh, you open something. <laughs> oh, did you guys already read this last one from Gareth? It was uh, so no. weird when Ty stopped painting. I think that's weird. Wait till they make me paint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to use a vermilion. Because it's fun to say. Yes, and it's new. Ooh. I don't need very much, so I'm just going to use what's on here. If it'll let me let it go. There we go. Where did that shark go? There it is. I keep losing it because it's so small. And then I'll put some blood gods on top of this. Just an itty bitty bit. Oh, uh, Creepshow said, 
One of the hard things about painting is trying to find that perfect Christmas color. Shades of gray. <laughs> uh, Sada said, I think I painted once. I think that's what it says. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not talking about paint by number either. <laughs> okay. Just gonna scooch this. I have no idea where that went. Alright, so I think now we are ready to paint some blue on our ocean. I think I'm going to use this brush. I'm just pulling out every single new brush I have, apparently. <laughs> Alright, and for the blue, I'm using the Technical Soulstone Blue, which is technically a gemstone blue, but um, I think it'll work really well for the water, especially the way that you use it. I was wrong. I'm not going to use this one. I have a diff I have a backup though. So it's fine. There's my backup. I'm going to use this instead, which is our uh transparent blue sort of stuff. It's pretty fun. I really like using it for water. Yes, that's a lot closer to what I was wanting. Our, uh... uh wasn't my fault. You can mute the tab ahead of time. You're supposed to be the tech savvy one, dude. No, I can't do it. Yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. Let's do that Ooh, that is looking great. Hey, Dad, can you put it back on autofocus? I know it's still a bit hard to see, but there's like so many layers happening on the right, like especially like right here. It looks great. All right, see you later, Gareth. He's probably prepping for his stream. Nine thirty Central tonight. Very good painter. Agreed. Don't mind my paintbrush in y'all's face. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not trying very hard to keep the blue off of the rocks because one, it's a very thin paint, so it'll be hard to see anyways. Um, but it also adds to the like water just started slipping off of it sort of effect. So it works. Next time I paint this guy, I think I'm going to paint him off of the base. <laughs> Probably with his wings off also. If that's an option, I don't really know. I'm sorry, I know you guys can't really see anything right now. I'm doing my best, but some really weird nooks and crannies here. It kind of looks like a Caribbean sort of thing, you know? The water. It looks like tropical, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know how um, water can have an ethnicity, but it does apparently. I don't. Ethnicity is not the right word. Is that the right word? Regional, whatever. I don't know. It's fine. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it like such a freak. I really don't need to hold it like this, but that's what's happening, I guess. Almost done with the base, guys. Okay, um, never in my life has this ever happened before, but I got the exact amount of paint that I needed out. Like, to the drop. We're not done streaming yet. <laughs> that is the highlight of my life. <laughs> I'm saying. A little bit here, you're going to be like, oh, I need some more of this. Yeah, I'll probably have to touch up some spots, but it's um amazing nonetheless, so. It is time to start. Oh, ooh. <laughs> right? It's an achievement, people. <laughs> That's what you sounded like. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> it's not Cthulhu, it's Cthulhu. <laughs> Bring in my cult back. <laughs> Alright, so essentially my idea here is wherever he would be wet still is going to be this shade of green. And then the rest of him is going to be like black and grey tones. To sort of like signify like he's typically green and black, but whenever he's wa in water, it changes his color. Is sort of what I'm going for. Yeah, that's too long. You have to read it out loud. <laughs> so this dragon says, The seas churned in the malevolence not seen for a millennium. Apex predators lay strewn about the rocks, known as sharks by some, but mere guppies to what now emerges. The, hero hero uh, the horrific entity slowly enters this reality as the great artist of the sky fills its details. Watercolors blend our realities together. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> well done. Yeah, 
still can't see. Okay. Let's do better sound. I need a good sound. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought that was you for a second. I got excited. And then I realized, oh no, that's not you yet. No, nah, that's not me yet. I played this one before, but it totally makes sense for all of what just happened. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, let's make Sir more afraid of thunderstorms. <laughs> He's locked away in the bedroom. <laughs> he can still hear it in there. I got the TV on with a oh, and then he a can. doggy show, so he can listen to barking while he sits there. I love that he watches TV. It, it's just great. So the dragon says, "I like your interpretive reading." <laughs> Shit, that kind of got me. Okay, before my brain starts jiggling again, can we turn that down a little bit? No. It's very loud. Don't says nice, but I'm not sure about The sound, probably? That's my guess. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I could go down a little more. No, daddy, no. Yes, like, uh, like jello, but like stale jello. It's so, like it's a little stiff. I'm trying to get his butt crack, but it's not a very good position. <laughs> I mean, it's the only position a butt crack can take, but it's still very awkward. Creepshow says, I guess stale jello does not fall out of the ears as easily. Exactly. <laughs> That's the cat. It always sounds like a like a child. <laughs> but I know it's the cat. So based on the waves, I would say he's Sort of just like went, bloop, just like, bloop, straight up, which means cavities like up here would still be green. And, uh, so I think, yeah, that's probably pretty much it. It's pretty much everywhere where there's like a, a cavity, there would be. Uh, water still. Based on the height of the waves, I'd say probably about there is how high I'm going with it. I sound like I'm using science, but I'm not. I'm just, like, guessing. But it would take a lot of math to figure out, um, first off, the height of Cthulhu. <laughs> Second off, the speed in which he um, launched himself out of the water, the speed that water falls, which is the same as all gravity, which I believe is like 7.8 or 9.8. I don't really remember. I haven't taken a science class in a few, quite a few years. 
It's been like two years. What am I talking about? I do some regular boring work, and now I come back and start listening again. What in the hell is happening? <laughs> Oh, we're just talking about the, um, ow, about the math of velocity of Cthulhu's arrival to, um, the speed of gravity dropping the water to see how fast the water would come off of him to see how high we would put the grain. We'll make it work. <laughs> he doesn't know math, so it's fine. Math. Maths. <laughs> I kind of wish, like, I we'd put, like, a handle or something here. <laughs> Thank you, Sawdust. It is 9.8. 9.8 meters per second. That's the speed of which uh, gravity makes something drop. That's why everything drops at the same speed. It's because it's 9.8. For those of you who came here for a science lesson, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, and then we would have to figure out, like, after we've already figured out the height of him, we'd have to figure out the difference of, like, how much is left to figure out, like, how far. You know, science. Squared. I don't know. You guys do the math. You forgot the squared part, apparently. So this is yelling squared at you. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Yes, it is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. There you go. Thought you had written sec uh, second twice. It's really, it's really far for me. I mean, it's really not, but I'm not good at seeing, so it's super far. <laughs> Spots like this would still have some water left. Probably gonna make the tentacles dripping a little bit. Can you tell I get distracted easily? Like, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to jump here, and then I'm going to jump here, and then I'm going to jump here. And eventually it'll be done. Or hidden in a way in a corner for the rest of its life. The world may never know. Until it does. Oh, yeah, give me a heart attack, why don't you? Frosted tip tentacles. Nice one, creep show. Not the intent, but I guess that's what's happening now, huh? That Cthulhu's got French tips. Almost there. Add a little bit to the tops. Make it look like he just came out, you know? Need more paint. <laughs>
That's a tongue twister, Sawdust Dragon says. What were we talking about? What? That's why you gotta help read. I don't know what the tongue twister was. I don't. I. Tip tentacles. Yes, tip tentacles. Oh, I think that's, that's probably it. You say that yeah. I didn't think about it. <laughs> yes, frost and tip tentacles. Now you're just making it weird, dude. <laughs> it's the only way I know to make things. Not drop him. I, I no, think God! no, God, please, no, 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 no. I think that is enough random splotches of the green. <laughs> All right, so next. I am going to skip to the wings because there's something I want to try and I do not know if it'll work. So I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work, I will try something else later. I'm using a contrast, but I don't have any base coat because I want it to stay this thin color, the thinness, but I want it to have a shade of a brown or a black to it. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that works. I might have to do multiple layers, but I'd say it looks pretty good. Dawn says focus. I am fo Oh, you mean... I, I don't know what you mean. I'm not focusing on it's it. It's on autofocus again. Ooh. Doesn't help when I smack the camera, though. So this dragon says, ugh, tiptoed. <laughs> yes, I mean, move away from the camera is what Dawn says. Oh. <laughs> Make that focus button, Sawdust Dragon says. I will do that just as soon as I have downtime. Or, you know, sooner if Dawn makes it. <laughs> I guess that means I'm in focus. <laughs> Either that or it's uh, her making you. I'm probably making fun that I don't have down. <laughs> Trying really hard not to touch it right now. <laughs> happy about the button. Ah. And oh boy. Some scripting. <laughs> I, yeah, I like that. I really like how that turned out. I have to do the other side still, but I don't want to mess up the top, so I'm not going to do that until after I'm done with my next part. But like, you can see, like this spot is my favorite because, like, look at that, and it's still see through. You see. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to try out my Lamp Black. It's one of my new paints. I'm going to see if it works for what I want it to do. The best part about acrylic paints is you don't have to take them out of the bottle. Very much enjoy that. All right, uh, let's start on the tummy. Yes, I very much like this color.
Oh, jeez, I am running out of time. Oh, yeah. Did you talk about your Alter the Strings? I did not. Um, so this week's Alter the Stream is uh, I will be... Whoever does it first gets to choose what I do. And then everyone after that gets to add to it. So, yeah, that's, I, mom was complaining earlier about how I could, I didn't say it in an interesting way, but I don't know how else to say it. So I'll say it again, same way. Might be easier if you choose options and stuff like mom's does so that people can select from something, right? Yeah, but the problem is I do so many different things and... I just like forget how to choose. <laughs> As in choose what mini paint to paint? Sawdust Dragon asks. That can be a thing. Uh yeah, you can choose if I paint a mini, you can change what you can choose what mini. Um obviously it has to be like within the range of being able to print, you know? Um or if we have it already downstairs as a as a bones or something. Um if you can choose what craft I want, what craft I can do. Um, obviously it has to be affordable and able to be done or mostly done in the allotted time span. Uh, yeah, well, I was getting there. Okay. <laughs> like you can choose if I write again, you can give me like a writing prompt sort of thing. It's really up to y'all. Oh, it ends up, like drawing in like a brown that's pretty fun it means i'll be um going into the black when i could come away from the uh green I really like that his ribs are so accentuated because it just makes it easier for me to like show them off. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Car I don't know what that says. Dad, what does that say? Oh, uh. And what does it mean? Carte blanche. As in choose what many feet carte blanche. So that means. They choose whatever they want. Like when you have different things you can choose from and like able package and stuff like that. Hmm. Interesting. Don says, yeah, his ribs being that way was what gave me the idea to have them lit from within. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm going to do with my new paints? Something I've always wanted to do. Paint swatch on top. So I'll do one side that's like thinner. And then one side that's like thicker. And that way I'll know how it dries. There, just in case. I apparently completely missed the green in that cavity. <laughs> Unconditional authority, full discretionary power. So in other words, you don't get any choice. They they tell you what you're going to do and you're going to do it. Uh-huh. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. How was I looking? Oh. <laughs> carte blanche and I was thinking of a la carte. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Oh, I need to put some green on his hand. Because you see it's like still in water. How about you talk then? <laughs> He's like, in the background. Brothos Dragon says, I have an idea for your altar stream. I just put it in Discord. I made this. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Bring it over here so I can see. Oh, Dad, I can't read it when you do that. Show me the picture. Uh, what's that? Learn how to unicycle. You think I should learn how to unicycle in less than three hours? Or learn how to mod. Less than three hours. I think unicycling would be easier. <laughs> you never said I'm a unicycle. <laughs> well, I have actually. But learning how to build a unicycle so... would be more difficult. This is a unicycle that I modeled for animation. I think it would have to alter it a bit to 3D print it, but now I'm really thinking about it. That would be pretty That would be really cool. awesome. I'm gonna move that before I knock it over. So Soda says, but I would have to finish the model. No, not learn. I will give you the STL. I have three unicycles. <laughs> uh -huh. If you got the 2,000 points, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got. I wonder how many I have. I have thrown my thing. I have 860. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, sawdust could have. Oh, wow. It. I dropped it in like the most awkward possible spot. So much self control. Every time I hit a thousand, I'm like, time for a second. Time for our knuckle crack break, <laughs> and then back to it.
wings are so large, I keep hitting them against the uh, mat. So I keep like wanting to like bring it higher so I don't scratch it. And then I like come way off off of the screen. <laughs> That's not fair. You have infinite. <laughs> Ooh, Dad, read that. Sawdust Dragon says, I think that I could place the unicycle on a mountain path as a base to hold it. That'd be cool. This would be a really cool as a printed model since it is a model of my unicycle. That would be really cool. And Dawn says, yes. You know, I thought it was really odd that this one didn't have the styrofoam cover um, on top of the paint. Um, I feel it. It is underneath some of the paint. Uh, it's it's very strange. Where was I? That's where I was. I don't think I'm finishing this week, unfortunately, because I have half an hour left. Okay, we're gonna begin. Yeah, if you next guys week, don't unless, do altars, then yeah, if, if they do the altars, then it'll it can sit on the shelf shelf of shame for a couple of weeks. <laughs> not gonna say I'm not a fan of that idea because <laughs> I like this mini, but I like um, people telling me what to do more. <laughs> That's funny. Every time I tell you what to do, you get mad. Well, yeah, because you're annoying about it. She obviously hasn't heard the rest of it yet. <laughs> I'm not annoying about anything. You're annoying about everything. You're annoying. There's an A there, dear. You're annoying me right now. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling that this guy is going to look pretty snazzy. Oh, apparently the uh, applause was for you, Dad. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what color I'm going to do the eyes yet. I think I'm probably going to do like an orange, red, or blue. I'm thinking probably orange because the second I said it, I was like, ooh, that sounds awesome. I don't think I've ever done orange eyes. Sorry. Are you painting your fingers? I can paint your fingers? Nope. Oh, that's another option you guys could have me do, is you guys could have me finger paint. Just saying. I don't know what I would finger paint, but I could. 
half the time I paint with just my fingers anyways. <laughs> I really like how accentuated all of his, like, anatomy is. That sounds really weird, but that's the only way I know how to say it. Like, the huge divots here, huge divots there. It really makes great spots to pull some water in. Make it a little more active, you know? I just think it's fun. Almost done with this section, and then when we're done with this section, I will add some more spots that are like slightly not as high. I didn't like that spot, so I changed it. <laughs> like here, I'll add some of this color. Because it's still like a high spot, but it's not like as high as a spot. You know, because that makes so much sense, right, guys? <laughs> like here, we'll pull a little bit of water. So would here. It's really just about the spots where I think water would pool, but not heavily. So it would be, like, enough pooling to, um, hold on, let me bright my brain restart, like, windows real quick. <laughs> it's, like, the amount of pooling determines the coloration. So, like, heavy pooling would be, like, down here, there'd be a lot, while here there wouldn't be as much, and then it'll be like completely black where there would be none. Or like little to none. There. Inside of the muscles there'd be some. Biceps. Uh, Dad, can you read what Ma said? Oh. It says, paint a mountain scene on your fingers and have the unicycle across your knuckles. Goodness. Thank gosh you didn't paint the po pay, pay the points for that. Alright. Yeah, and there's our swatches done. It's hard to see on the screen, but it's it's a brown. I wasn't expecting that considering it's black, but it's brown. But before I close this, I actually want to get this out. Don't add it uh, writing across the knuckles. <laughs> the slow disturbance is nice. <laughs> there we go. There was like a huge pool of, of paint on top of it. It's really strange. Probably had to do something with the shipping. It's like there's like dried paint all over it too. I hope you guys enjoy watching me. Um, Twist a acrylic bottle closed. Oh. There we go. Alright. Now we're on to the black. Oh, 
So on top of the cap, what I'm going to be doing with all of these new paints, that's not, that's not the same black. There it is. Um, is a paint swatch. So that way I can tell what the paint is going to look like dried. Um, so I, it's, it's difficult to see on screen, but I did one side in a thinner coat and then one side in a thick coat so I can tell the difference. This paint doesn't have a difference, <laughs> but if it did, I would be able to know that. Because, like, it's called lamp black, but it dries in a brown hue with, like, a slight green tint to it. So I'm probably going to go through one of these days and just do that with all of these. Have it prepped and ready to go. I've always w wanted to do that with, like, these where you just, like, do a little bit of a tip on the top. And they, I see that a lot at um, paint and takes. And it's a really great idea, so I wanted to do that. It looks like the silhouette of Susan B. Anthony. Where? I see, like, a bearded Russian man. But, like, the beard's on the wrong side of the head, so I guess it's like... Oh, long hair, and then there's the beard. And then there's, like, the Russian hat, but it looks kind of like a sailboat at the same time. Like, there's his nose. I did get a nose, that's for sure. <sighs> <laughs> I guess it doesn't help that I don't know who Susan B. Anthony is. I know it's some historical figure, I just don't know anything else. Turn clockwise 90 degrees like this. Um There you go. No, I don't see that. I I see like a really derpy dude right here. Um and then I see a Russian man sideways. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't see what you see there. Um, I kind of see, like, a dessert sort of thing happening there. What if she's making this face, Cora? Do you see it now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if these guys can stand up. They cannot. That sucks. Alright. Let, let me shake this for a third time and then stop getting distracted because we have, like, ten minutes left. Let's see how far I can get in 10 minutes. Because <laughs> I haven't even finished the wings yet. Only thing I have finished is the base. Boom. I keep sticking my finger in wet paint. I do really like these new brushes. Especially considering I'm painting a lot larger things nowadays. So having some larger brushes is really helpful. I wonder if his hand could hold a glue bottle. Probably. That would truly make him kuthu glue. I bet Cthulhu's probably like watching this right now and like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> probably with like an ancient tongue and probably some modern cuss words. <laughs>
No, he's still not spinning the points so far. Sawdust, you're trying to figure out if you can do that model first. I could build a miniature village. Take a lot longer than three hours, but we have plenty of uh, coffee stirrers. I get oh, I could teach how to make wood flooring. I'm really good at making wood flooring for miniatures, like really good at it. It's super easy, which is why I'm really good at it. But I'm also really good at it. So. It also doesn't take three hours. I guess I could paint a miniature to go with it, but yeah, I think that's probably what I'll 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 do um, as one of the altar choices next week. Because if no one does the altars, then I'm gonna finish this guy next week. Unless you guys are bored with them and want uh, me to uh. Do something else next week. Yeah, exactly. I have plenty of villagers to do. I could put a villager on a wood floor. You know, I could make an inn or like a tavern. That would be pretty fun. I think we have cakes because I don't, I don't know. I guess you have an idea on how to make a cake. And they are thin enough. I think that would probably work. Okay, so those are our options. Uh, vote in chat if you want me to continue this next week or if you want me to do the tavern next week. Um, no points necessary. If someone wants to use their points um, to choose exactly what I do, uh, now is your chance. Otherwise, this is what's happening. So we have one vote for Cthulhu. And if I don't do Cthulhu on stream, then I'll probably record him for a YouTube video for the rest of the way. Probably. Gur. Um, I don't know what Gur is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was your vote. <laughs> I was so confused. That stinks, because Cora's going to stream for the last time next week. Why? I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> like, I did not build my schedule around this. So there you go. I'm really just slapping paint on right now. If mom's the only one that votes, then I'm choosing. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, you can. I'm, I'm gonna say you can, at least on my streams, you can. You want me to do the unicycle for, uh, whenever you finish it? Because honestly, I'd probably do that without an altar. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it has a place holding, which is why you should do the altar, because it would be like... A safety net, you know. Time to get underneath his chin. Oh my goodness, that is like impossible to reach. <laughs> I 
Mom's probably in the other room like, that's not how I would have painted it. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Give me a second and then I will write that down so we don't forget. Mom says no. I don't know if that means nope, I wouldn't have painted that way, or if it means nope, this sounds like <laughs> I have no idea. Mother is a, a mis mystery. So, oh, it's because she likes seeing what others come with, 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 up, 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 up with. <laughs> Obviously not. Paint. Sawdusts. Unicycle. And... Base SDO when received. Pop. There we go. All right, what was I doing? Is that paint on there? All right. Alright, so we're going to skip back to the wings because I want to finish those before we go off so I don't lose the specific color that I was using. Sorry, I really like that sound. <laughs> That twist. And then once I finish these wings, we will be good to sign off for the night. We are pretty close to that spot, unfortunately, because as you guys can tell, there's a lot left to do. I'll just start throwing paintbrushes at him <laughs> so he wakes up. All right, I really like how those wings turned out. It's like a very thin leather sort of thing happening. It's pretty cool. Fun fact, brown on top of red, pretty snazzy. <laughs> All right. So this is my very unfinished mini. I mean, he's looking pretty cool, um, but he's definitely not there yet. Um. So, since mom was the only one who voted, I'm going to choose that we're doing the tavern next week. Um, really? What did mom yes. vote? She, she voted for me to finish this I guy. I voted finish that. No, you don't count. <laughs> oh, I see. I do all the hard work. I know. I'm so mean. I'm absolutely, like, the meaniest. Um, but I want to do the tavern, and if one person votes, it's not exactly fair, so I get to choose to make it fair. Um, we are doing the tavern next week, um, with no altars, our, eventually we will get to, uh, paint a unicycle, um, whenever that is, see, 
Sawdust wins. <laughs> we are doing the tavern. Um, whenever we get the unicycle from Sawdust, we will be painting that. Hopefully that will be the week after um, this, or maybe like three years from now. We don't know, but it'll happen and that's what matters. <laughs> it probably won't be three years from now, but... Um, Next week, we will be building a tavern and painting villagers. Uh, that might take two weeks. <laughs> it's very possible to take two weeks, because it's... I'm thinking probably... Oh, can you go back down here? I'm thinking it'll probably be about, like... Here. About, like, the size of this square. It'll probably be about that big. And these are inch, one-inch squares. Eight-inch square. Big. Big one you're touching. It is. It's eight by eight. So it'll probably be eight by eight, which is 64, I think. I think that's how you do that. Yeah, I think that's 64. Um, so it, it'll be pretty big. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get three villagers done, an end table, like the circular tables. I did, had made circular tables before. They're not easy. Um, but they are doable. I think with those, I used, like, pre-made circles. It was the legs that were difficult. Or was it the chair? The chair was difficult. It was all difficult, but I did it. <laughs> Probably do another bookshelf, because I really liked making the bookshelf, and I made, like, a hundred scrolls for that bookshelf. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I think we are gonna head out for the night. I'll see you next